Hello everyone and welcome to part one in our video series where we're covering how to create a game character in the Autodesk Entertainment Creation Suite. My name is Chris Hall. I'm an Education solution Specialist. One of the things I cover is Media Entertainment. I also have with me Dave Bentley. I'd like Dave to introduce himself and tell us about yourself a little bit, Dave, uh, to give the audience a little background. Yeah, David Bentley. I teach, actually, I'm an instructor at the College for Creative Studies in Detroit. I teach the, the students character design, character sculpting, also environment design, as well as I work with all the seniors on their final projects, their game projects, as well as animation projects. And it's a wonderful opportunity to uh, spend this with you. So very cool. Well, we have a fun project we're about to embark on with all of you. Let's do a little introductions. The character that we're trying to create is, uh, his name is Sven. He's a space adventurer, and he's the Galactic Federation's favorite agent that they send on their most dangerous missions. He's also kind of the sort of guy who confidently pushes the wrong button, but still comes out on top of it. I'm sure we can think of many examples of people and movies where this happens all the time. Now, the story that this hero is going to be in the game is he's been dropped on a planet SR-388. Well, dropped, but maybe kind of crashed. And he's not going to let it stop him, even though he got shot down. He has to stop the evil scarab robots from beaming brain scrambling energy at the Earth with their energy portal, preventing them from controlling the human race with their space madness. We wanted to kind of give a character description so as we start getting into this we needed to give this foundation. We're going to keep our character probably right around the 5,000 plus um, polygon count and so at this point what I want to do is turn it over to Dave and we're going to talk about good design with Autodesk tools and good design of characters to start the whole process. Go ahead Dave. Okay so it's really important to know the story and the and also the atmosphere. Where, what world does this guy live in? And in, in this case, it's really nice to have the story of him landing on, or crash landing, I should say, on this planet. Um, we know he's a bit of a cocky guy. He's also a very interesting character. You want to be sympathetic with him. Um, he's a really neat guy. So when I start coming up with character designs, I want to think about what does this character need to do? Besides like who he is and his character description, what is he going to have to do in the game? In this case, I know his poly count's fairly low, but it's, it's enough to get anything I really need out of him. He's going to be able to bend and move and twist, but he's not going to be able to talk, so I need to make sure I think about that. Uh, when we start designing the face, he's going to have to have a very nice neutral pose, and so we'll look into that as we go. Right now, he's got to have, the kind of things he's going to have as assets are going to be this really neat utility belt, kind of a Batman utility belt. He's going to have to have knee pads, elbow pads for getting around. We might end up animating, crawling around on the floor. Um, he's going to have a blaster. He needs to be able to take care of himself on this alien planet. And as well as uh, get around with his jetpack and fly around. So this is generically the character. Um, we will try to keep him down to a, a decent number of polygons. But before we get into the modeling phase, we need to go back and look at what will make a good design. And to do that, we'll go back into Sketchbook or Sketchbook Designer and work out the silhouettes, which are going to make a strong design. Um, any really strong design, you should be able to look at just the silhouette and recognize who this character is. Also, look at the proportions. Uh, we have a set proportion for this character, and if we decided to come up with any other character designs, we're going to want to make sure that those character designs kind of fit the same general proportion. Uh, he's got a strong triangular shaped chest and, and a, good, uh, a good proportion here for a character. Pretty large head with a long neck. And we're going to try to make sure whatever characters we come up with should fit within this general description. Another thing we want to think about when making characters, and good characters in particular, is what are the general shapes? that you would use to, to sell a character. If you look at this guy, he's got a really interesting uh, body type. He's not very sharp angles. He's got a lot of round edges, round muscles, and the designs on him will tend to, uh, to reinforce that he's a good guy. Now, if I wanted to really make him a solid person, 
someone you could rely on. I might make him a little thicker with uh, more squares in his in his body and his makeup. If we wanted to make him a little more evil, we might go and make him a bit more pointy. Uh, have sharp edges, protruding uh, thorny edges in his silhouette, and that would tend to uh, make us think that he is a bit more of a dangerous, scary guy, a villain. But in this case, he is a very friendly, very interesting guy, but he is a bit cocky, and it's important to uh, show that. And maybe that comes across in his hair. <laughs> we'll look into it. Any thoughts, Chris? You kind of use a sketchbook designer here to kind of illustrate some of these points, and I think that's a really good use of it. And you've captured some of the imagery from Maya also, and we've got a good look at his face. You know, I've also heard you compare him to kind of having that Han Solo type look and maybe even that type of attitude. Kind of arrogant and cocky, but, you know, he's a good idea or a good example of pushing a button and something can go wrong and then exactly. <laughs> working out of it. Exactly. And that's part of his personality. Um, here we're just showing a little bit of like if he was going to be an evil guy, um, you might put lower, little uh, scary angular, angular uh, spikes coming out of him. It might tend to scare you a little bit. At this point, we're going to walk away from this description and start looking into uh, the silhouettes. All right. Well, we look forward to all of you participating in this series with us.